Hi everyone, just thought I'd give you an update on the Euro USD long that I took on Friday. Uh, you may have seen the live trade breakdown um, and me taking this trade live as it was setting up. So I just thought I'd give an update for how this one played out. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly run through the main confluences as to why I took the trade. I won't go too in depth as you can see that in the um, previous video. But as you can see here, we've got our POI here and we've then got this trap zone that we waited to be broken through. So essentially what we waited for was for this zone to fail and to enter somewhere within this area here. So let's um, have a closer look on the lower time frames. I think it was around about a one minute I looked to enter on this trade. So we have our trap zone just here as you can see the trap zone we did get some sort of reaction from this so as orders were closed from here we've had a pullback to this uh, to about roughly here and then after that price has just continued pushing all the way through and completely violated this area now if we then look a little bit closer in our POI just here this is a 15 minute POI so was this one above We've then had um, price mitigate into this area and we've then got this line here which is our liquidity inducement candle. I'm not going to go too in depth into what this is um, because this is something we cover in our course content um, but this is essentially the candle that has specific characteristics of inducement that we look out for. So once this was mitigated um, I was cautious of um, sell side liquidity below this area so I wanted to see how price was going to behave if it was going to come back beyond this area and overall if this entire region was going to eventually stay respected now we do have a divergence here uh, so if i just open up the rsi you can see we did have a divergence on the rsi so this was giving us uh, an indication that momentum pushing to the downside was now slowing down so essentially what i was looking for was uh, once we've had confirmation that our uh, liquidity inducement candle was going to stay respected even though we have pushed beyond it we've now come back above our liquidity inducement candle we've had the rsi uh, divergence and what i waited for was a essentially a break of the most recent high so i was looking at these candles here around um, to see if we could get an engulfing candle and as you can see we did have the engulfing candle formed we broke past this high and as this candle closed it was pretty much as that candle closed the very second i had mc4 open and i pressed the buy button so from there, the trade continued to push up uh, a little bit. We had a little bit of drawdown. It wasn't anything I was too cautious of. Um, I did have a stop loss of around about eight pips. Um, I don't go for two super tight stop losses, uh, especially these days that the increased market volatility, there's, there's no need for it. I'm not trying to show off to anyone. I, I want to stay in the markets and make money. I'm not trying to make, you know, 100R off um, a short movement. Um, you know, I'm more interested in staying in the markets and staying safe. So once we've broken past this level here, um, it, it was around about this high or this high. I was um, looking to get stops to break even. Um, I then settled with this one here. Once price broke beyond here, that's when I looked to um, you know, get stop loss to break even around this point. Now, as it was a Friday, um, I was targeting this green zone here. So let me just zoom back out to, I think it was the five minute. Let me just confirm. Yeah, it was around about the five minute time frame here. I was looking for around about this area to take partial, um, take a partial closer and closure, sorry, and you know, take some profits from this trade. As you can see at this area here, we did come quite close. It wasn't quite close enough. And as we had a bit of a pullback, I then started to think, right, it's getting close to, it was around about the time when London was closing and we're now getting to um, low volume during the day. So as we started to see price consolidating around this region here, um, it was somewhere around this level that I decided to take 4.1% uh, profit and leave the remaining 20% trade volume to just run and do what it wants so once i closed 80 percent volume of the trade around this area i've then left the rest to run and what i wanted to do was come back to it later on um, before the markets closed to see roughly whereabouts price was and when i checked it we was we were somewhere around this region it was around about nine o'clock at night i checked it and price wasn't really moving much further so from there i was content to just leave this running over the weekend so at that point when I was observing the market, we were roughly 40 odd pips um, in profit. I don't usually count pips uh, in terms of profit because it means nothing. But what I was looking for was, did I have much breathing space that if we did have a gap open in the markets like we did here, 
is it going to be likely that the gap could open beyond my stop loss? Because if it does, I could end up losing more than I had actually risked on the trade. What I didn't notice was because I was checking around this time here, um, as the markets did close, and I didn't spot this until over the weekend, was we actually had quite an impulsive push to the downside, um, bringing price a little bit closer to um, my stop loss or around the break even mark. This is likely due to spreads depending on the brokerage that you're, um, you know, the data source that you're looking at. But when I opened MT4, we did have a push roughly around to this region. So that did make me think, okay, maybe we might have a bit of a gap opening over the weekend. Luckily, when um, I checked last night, when the markets did open Sunday night for us in the UK, um, it didn't open beyond my stop loss which was um which was great to see however um i left it open and i, I didn't bother closing it but as you can see here around about one o'clock this morning uk time it did end up hitting break even so that's the remaining 20 percent volume that I got taken out of break even that i did close 80 percent around here banking 4.1 percent which was a nice little um end to last week so i just wanted to give an update on this trade setup if you haven't seen the um the live trade uh where i took this live then it will be in the top right hand corner just click the link and you'll be able to see uh, my entire thought process for taking this this trade setup so yeah guys if you have any questions drop them in the comment section